This is Elevation TV with Ryan Wheeler. We've got a seventh professional fight coming up at Ashton Gate in Bristol. So Ryan, tell us about what's happening then on this fight. Um, 15th of October, I'm back at Ashton Gate for my seventh professional fight. Um, I feel good, I feel ready. We're less than two weeks away now, so just finishing the last few bits of training. I've just been finished, uh, just finished my training, sorry, at uh, Elevation Fitness Academy with Chris Roach. Put me through my paces. So yeah, it's, training's going good. There's ready. rumors that it could be a six rounder then. Yeah, First I found, out, big step found up. out yesterday it was going to step up to a six round fight. So uh, going up another level, uh, tougher opponents. Um, yeah, can't wait. Been looking forward to this for a long time. So obviously six rounder, have you been doing anything different in training or just doing your own thing? Um, I only found out yesterday that it's going to be a six rounder. Well, it's not definite, but it's not confirmed. So I've not really had time to prepare for a six rounder as such, but my training is always tough and I've been ready to do six rounds for you know, about a year now, so, um, you know, all my training is based on looking for, like, six, maybe even eight-round fights, so. Ah, fair play. Have you got, you got a lot of people coming down? Like, you, every time you fight, you always go about 100-plus? Yeah, I've, um, I've got a 57-seater coach. That's full up. Um, I think there may be two seats left on it. Um, and then I've got, sort of, another 40 people from Froome and Colford making their way down. Um, I think some of the warmest of boys are coming. Um, and then maybe another 20 to 30 people from Bristol. So that's great. Um, Looking at maybe 140 people there supporting me on the night, so yeah, it's really good. That'd be good. Obviously, when when you when you're getting tired in those last rounds, that big support, you know, spur you on that little bit of extra. Yeah, when you're nervous and that, and you've got you know 100 100 odd people shouting your name, it's you know the best feeling ever. You can't you can't fault the support I've had. Um, it's overwhelming, you know. But um, again, like let's say last round when you're getting a bit tired and you've got a hundred people shouting you like there's no way you're giving up, you just keep going. Ah, fair play. Well, best of luck for you. Everyone in Froome and Bristol obviously want, want you to win this number one. Last question, uh, is it a knockout win or a points win you're going for? Again, I take every round as it comes. I don't actually, I'm not going to say I'm going to go for the knockout. I mean, I would like to get a knockout, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, and just take, like I say, take every round as it comes. As long as I get the win, happy days. Well, best of luck. Everyone wants you to get the win and uh, we look forward to watching you on the 15th. Okay, uh, before I go, I just want to thank everyone for coming along. And then thank all of my sponsors who are supporting me financially leading up to fights. Um, they're giving me the motivation to keep training and allowing me to train every day. So yeah, thanks very much.